So I didn't buckle them all the way up or anything because I really don't plan on. Um, did I just find a slide? Did I just find a slide? Oh, I wonder if that's still good. I could take that to Zoe's play area. There's a slide over there in the woods. But I filmed that clip wrong. I have to adjust it. Oh, there's something. It's rubbing me. Uh, okay. All right, let's go check it out. Seriously, there was a slide in the woods. It could be by the hammock. Because they were on my neck when I got in the hammock. Oh, look! Otter Creek is flowing again. <laughs> you ready? Here's where all the pigs been rooting. Look at this, this whole area is tore up. So it's pushed all the way to here. Right down there's Allie's pond. Um, it's made to here. Still gotta get on through the, through the ranch. Oh, there you have it. Creek starting to starting to flow again starting to get ready to flow probably a couple more days oh yeah them pigs are just killing it in here boy I should have planned it better didn't think only having little short socks and stuff would wear my boots or where my ankles were all so this is like an old trail right here this is one I think I might want to hand cut just be a walking trail So yeah, right over here, this is a this is a one area Jeremy found a long time ago. See back in there? Looks like an old pull slide. Huh. So yes, back at the ranch here on lovely 4th of July. And again, there is a slide in the woods right here that I'm going to try and get to and get out if it's still good. But first, we need to get over and check Hulk Smash and uh, get him ready to go. So let's get Hulk, let's go get Hulk Smash cleaned up and ready to rock and roll. Well, we're back at the ranch. We're on the mission of finding the pipe. We found the pipe. We found the leak. Well, we anyway. It's been raining a lot here. Get ready to see how much water's in the pond. It's kind of a. It's a. a, a Good thing and the bad thing. Bad thing is today is 4th of July and Ace was closed so I couldn't get the coupling so I couldn't connect the pipes down in the pond to the fountain. So that was a bad. And that thing right there wiggling. But another thing is that there's so much water in the pond now I can't get to the pipe. I'm going to have to get wet to get to the pipe. Check this out. As you can see... There is a lot more water in the pond now. Almost right underneath the dock here. I need to get moving on this dock, that's for sure. Luckily it's not too deep. Right there, you see the end of the pipe? It's got a cap on I gotta cut that. I gotta reconnect it. However, um, I don't have the coupling. So as you can see, it's a lot less to fill now once I do get the pipe over here. Before I do all that, I need to uh, do a little Hulk Smash maintenance. We need to give Hulk Smash a little love, so let's go do that first. I was going to, oops, grab the grease gun. Gonna give Hulk Smash a good greasing, but uh, as I was looking, look, the pig's been here in the yard. Man, they've been tearing up the yard here pretty good. Look at it all. <laughs> yep, that's what they do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring Hulk Smash over here uh, closer to the power outlet because what, I'm, what I need to do is I need to, oh, I mean the hose. There it is over there. I need to, like I said, I need to give Hulk a bath and then uh, get him blowed off. And also I need to 
Grease it. Oh, I'll get the grease gun right here in my hand. Hey! Hey! Oh, missed it. Missed that one. I sure fell down on it, but look. So I got some suggestions. Oh, hey, what's up, everybody? Happy 4th of July. Today is July 4th. Happy birthday, America. For all you red-blooded Americans out there, I still love this country for what it is. Hope you have a great 4th of July and enjoy your day. But I've been checking out. I mean, I love all the comments you guys helped me. You guys are actually helping me learn how to be old better. And what I mean by, by that is... All the techniques that I've been learning. Now, I'm really starting to dig my strings that Renee gave me. But uh, one of them was like, Travis, you know, because I kept poking myself in the face. Like, Travis, you know, if you fold the arms up, it's better. And Travis, if you tuck it in your shirt, it doesn't get in your way. So, I'm kind of liking that. It looks like i got bigger muscles now. <laughs> anyway, got to do some Hulk smash maintenance today. Uh, I've been trying to get over here and do this. I know some of you guys also uh, talked about that in the comments. It's just all a matter of time as to... Juggling everything around with my sidetrackness, you know? What I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna go ahead and blow it off and get it all blown off because there's a lot of debris on it. And then uh, we're gonna get it washed up. And where's my, uh... oh, hold on, it's right here. <sighs> Got the grease gun. Got to go ahead and uh, get all the fittings greased up. Again, Hulk heads have been used tremendously a lot. Uh, it's still pretty much a brand new tractor. Uh, but we do got to grease it up, got to stay on top of maintenance on it just because of the fact that it has a lot of maintenance to do out here. Hopefully, I mean, let's get to cleaning. <laughs> well, what I mean by that is I was on the live last night. I don't even know, but uh, Guapo mentioned something about they're on a mission to get the John Deere back from Florida. This needed up there in Ohio, but I'm sure that it is. It definitely is. So I guess they might be on a mission to come down here and, and grab it, but... So be it, if that is the case, we're gonna get it all cleaned up, get it uh, ready to rock and roll, and then uh, it'll get good use up there. If they take it up there, I don't know. Okay, stop the babbling, let's get the babbling. Stop babbling, get to cleaning, man. Well, the extension cord barely makes it this way, and the water hose barely makes it that way. I guess we'll just start right here. <laughs> Got to find a closer outlet. That way uh, I can make it, I can reach. That little thing. So it's pretty obvious we've gotten a lot of rain out here with obviously how, how much higher the pond is. That is kind of a bummer though. I, uh, I just missed the deadline on getting that. I mean, I'll have to get in the pond and actually get it hooked up, I will. But that was actually one of my plans today, along with cleaning the hawk, was to uh, go get a coupling and then attach that pipe. That way, when the water did get high enough, I wouldn't have to worry about it. But you see how well that worked out, didn't you? Because now the water's above the pipe and I gotta get it in the water to fix the pipe now. But I don't have the pipe to fix the pipe. Gosh, darn it. Yeah, it's been a little bit. The call's got a little loving, so you definitely gotta get it done. Can you even hear me? Hot today. Got that hot for the garage. Looks like I'm gonna have to get the hose on that stuff. So as you can see, some of it is uh, gonna be sprayed off with hose. So we're gonna start with that. Get everything sprayed off the best we can. Get all the dirt off of it, and then that way we'll go ahead and grease the fittings after the fact. But uh, yeah. Oh, see, look at that. I bent forward. My glasses were in my in my shirt right there. And I didn't lose them. Which, oh, I forgot. Somebody mentioned about uh, my glasses I lost the other day. It could be by the hammock. Because they were on my neck when I got in the hammock. Oh, look! Ah! Ha <laughs> ha! Good eye! I forgot who said that. But somebody in the comments had said that. And look, thanks for, fi thanks for finding my glasses for me. Because, um... I ran over a pair the other day at the track with the other tractor. He <laughs> pretty cool. You lose them and you find them. You find them and then you lose them. That's what happens, son. 
Oh, you know, you want to know something else I figured out? Is that when I now that I'm filming in a proper YouTube format, when I clean the lens, it's not this lens. See, you can still see me, can't you? It's this lens. So it's a dip. I'm pretty sure that's how it worked. I'll, I'll know when I rewatch the camera. But uh, I think that's the camera that I'm speaking to now. Because on the back of this phone, there's one, two, three, four, five, five cameras. I don't know what they all do, but I know there's five, five little things on the back of this. So, all right, let's spray this off. Look at that, right there, America. That's right, happy birthday, America. Bush Hawk, 216. So I got Hulk sprayed off. I'm gonna spray a little soap on there. I ain't got much soap in, in the container, but uh, we're gonna soap her up, uh, let it soak, and then we're going to uh, spray it off. And then that, I, was, I was telling you about all the grease fittings. Yeah, I gotta spray the bucket off too. But all the different grease fittings on it. You can see there's, there's grease fittings everywhere. There's here, there, there, up there. There's gonna be one here, here, there's here, here. I mean, they're absolutely all over the tractor. And you have to look sometimes. I mean, they'll even be back here. You'll find, like, here's a grease nipple right there on the, for the uh, front wheel. So basically, I'll go all around the whole entire tractor and find each of the grease nipples. And I'll go ahead and give them a little squirt. And they're absolutely all over the tractor. Even back here and the implements in the back, you have grease fittings that uh, you know, need to be greased. Uh, you just, you just got to look around. Right here, same thing on that side. And the more you stay on top of this stuff, the uh, obviously the healthier and the longer the tractor lasts because of the fact of you're trying to keep it maintained. But again, I'm just walking around looking, trying to get an idea of visual as to where all the all the grease fittings are at. But for now, let me go ahead and get the soap and uh, soap her down. We'll go ahead. Oh, that's in zoom. There it goes. Look, more special effects. Uh, yeah, but you're going to let it soak. Uh, kind of get all the grease and grime off. And then we'll rinse it off one more time. Then we'll start to greasing. And then what do we do after that? We have to go bush hog because it's... Look at this. Not necessarily going to bush hog the yard again, but it's just ridiculous. It's so high again already. It's only been a couple days. But the... the <laughs> The pig's definitely been uh, tearing up the yard over there, so I guess I, I gotta get another bag of corn for the feeder. I think I'm out, but um, I'll have to get that next time. Getting dark out. It's been uh, raining quite a bit, so that's why the pond's filled up like it is, which is cool. But, uh, yeah, it looks like we're definitely out of feed. So we know we're out of feed. No big deal. Got to put some more in it. But today we gotta get Hulk Smash finished up. Look at that. 
if I'd only known. But thanks to all you guys for uh, just coming along for the ride and having fun. So, got to uh, get all these grease nipples greased up now. Got it all rinsed off, sprayed off. Uh, we're going to grease it up. But before we grease it up, we're going to take a walk back to the creek and see if the creek's flowing. Um, it was pretty close last time, so maybe it's maybe it's going this time. Maybe we'll see something. Who knows? But let this finish drying up, and then uh, here, let's take a walk to the creek. On the way back to the creek, I'm gonna swing by um, Allie's pond, and yes, the pond is definitely. Oh look! Wow, that was cool. I'm not even sure what went in the water, but that was a big old bird. Look what we've seen already. Yeah, from the looks of it, the pond is definitely a lot higher back here. I'm sure Allie's pretty happy. Her little bank is gone, though. She can't lay on that anymore. Definitely looks like the creek's going, flowing. Go, flowing and going. I don't see Allie, though. We're, we're going to be a little bit quieter. We might see something. Who knows? Yes, so everybody knows I picked up the chairs. Um, they're gone. But the campfire's still here at Camp Hills. Hills Camp. Hills Camp at Camp Hills. Yeah, I'm gonna start talking a little bit quieter because um you know the the quieter I get, the louder I am actually, the more I'll disturb the, the wildlife out there. So I'm still I'm still over here at Hills Camp. I'm going to um head down the, the pass over there, get into the creek, we're gonna see if the creek's flowing. My bet is that it is. I'm just gonna be a little bit quieter now, so it's that way. You ready? One, two, three, go. Let's get it. No, let's go. So uh, it's been sunny and nice out. At the same time, it has been raining. It's starting to rain a little bit, but um, yeah, it's a nice day. Hope you guys are having a good day.
she definitely sees me now. She's right there on the other side of the creek. Right beside the pine tree. If you look, see the tree in there? I'm not sure if you can see her. You'll probably see her when she lands. There's one right there. There's two of them over there. I don't have my glasses so I can't see. You're hissing at me? Well, I'll say that was pretty cool, right? <clears throat> Sorry if you couldn't hear me or not, but I, I thought I heard, I thought I heard a girl deer in there whistle. Well, I thought I heard a deer whistling or blowing. Went to the night, if you didn't hear that. But yeah, that's what they're trying to figure out what was going on. Uh, now that I watched them for a little bit, look at what the pigs did over here. Holy cow! It is insane. Look at this, man. If this was the front yard, this would not be good. This would not be good at all. I mean, these are some big. Oh, what is that? Look at that. Did you see what I just saw? Looks like an old bottle right there that the pigs have rooted up. That is cool. Look at it. Oh, man. You see that? Yeah, so look at all this stuff. The pigs have been crazy tearing it up in here. But check this out. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. It says something on the bottom. We'll have to go rinse it up and see what it says. Cool find. Thanks, pigs. But yeah, the pigs just uprooted a bottle out here in the middle of the woods. Yeah, them pigs really tore this area up pretty good here. Look at that. Look, here's another hog waller. Look, they ain't messing around. Look at those big old tracks. Oh my goodness. Look at that pig track right there. Phew, that's a big one. Well, you remember the other day, the creek stopped right there. You see it right there? Look right here. Otter Creek is flowing again. So as I was walking down the trail, I definitely seen some very, very fresh deer track, for example, right there. So I knew they were back here. I mean, we obviously know they're out here. They're everywhere. But I, um, I was, that was pretty cool to get to have two of them right there visit me at the creek. Didn't want to spook them too bad, but I could sit there and watch them all day. But got the pigs to get me a bottle. I'm going to go rinse it off and see what it says on the bottom. Plus, I got to get my glasses. I couldn't see the whole time I was filming. I'm like hoping I'm getting the deer in a picture, so I'll have to go watch and see... Uh, see what happens okay back out here to the power lines the uh the slide like i said we're gonna get to it's it's up in there who knows what else we might find in there but we'll get to that a little bit later on but right now let's get over to hulk smash and get hulk cleaned up man cool bottle got to see some deer that's awesome started raining now the sun's back out so can't complain with that either So it's a cap and everything. Mm. 
I'm just plugging the water back up. Okay, it says Durga, Duraglass, another Duraglass. Been finding a bunch of these Duraglasses around here. All right, cool. Back, I'm back. So after inspecting this a little bit more, I forget if I was zoomed in or zoomed out. When I put my glasses on, and look, if they fall off, oh, these are the, man, I thought I had my, <laughs> I literally thought I had the rope on because I had this on. These are like the, they're like the blue screen glasses that I actually, I was working on the video in the truck and that's why I had these on. I got my lens over there, but um, yeah, so hold on. So it was supposed to be like this. I was supposed to go up and they were supposed to hang because I thought I felt the string, but it was, it was my crazy biking lady hat string that I tightened up. So anyhow, back to what I was saying, uh, upon further inspection of this bottle, Again, it's a Duraglass, which that company is some of those older bottles, that, some of that like older, I'm not sure if it, what kind of bottle it was, but I found several of them, uh, which one of them I got in the uh, barrel at the house. Uh, this one, it says 3IV, and actually has little uh, markers, CCs, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 CCs, or one, two, and three, whatever that means. So, anyhow, it's a really awesome, cool little bottle. I'd love to have it, but, um, in honor of Zelda, I know Zelda was one of the fans of the page and she had passed away, God, God rest her soul. But uh, she had made a comment one time in, uh, when I had taken the bottle that I had found out in the woods or in the creek. But uh, she had said that, you know, you're not, you know, tell me not, told me not to take the bottle. I shouldn't have taken the bottle from the creek. However, Jeremy didn't really mind. But um, in honor of her, this actually, this bottle is going to stay here at the ranch. And I'm going to go ahead and take it under the porch, set it somewhere uh, I think will be cool. If Jeremy wants to move it when they come back down and visit, that's fine. But uh, this bottle's for you, Zelda. God rest your soul. So let's go find a spot in here. I gotta unplug my thing anyway. I gotta unplug this cord. All right. What do you think, Mr. Moose? I think I should get a new ring so I can s stop letting the thing rattle, huh? Not a new ring for my finger, a new ring for the phone. Phone ring. Ring, yeah, phone ring. Ha, <laughs> no, ring phone. Your phone's ringing. Look at him, look at, his, look at his excitement on his face. He's like, what are you doing? Anyway, oh, there's a snake skin. It kind of got blown off. It's, oh, man. Remember this moccasin skin? There it is. Boom. So I need to secure it so it don't blow off. You know, I, th I think, kind of look cool up here. Oh. So I'll kind of stick it in here a little bit. Maybe to stay there. Oh, you know what I could do? Weave it through. Oh, yeah, that looks cool. Yeah, so now it looks like he's actually gone through and shedded his skin right there. Man, that was a big snake. All right, back to the bottom. So, I really didn't know a lot about Zelda, uh, but she did, it was always awesome to see her, you know, commenting. But one of the things she'd probably be commenting right now is Travis, I shouldn't be decorating uh, Jeremy's ranch. If I remember um, <laughs> some of her comments, but uh, oh, look right there, perfect spot. So yeah, I think I found a perfect spot, an empty shelf, and uh, it just it just must be meant to be. And if Jeremy wants to change it again, he'll change it if he wants. But for now, it's for you, Zelda. You know what Mr. Moose is saying? He's like, you gonna grease that tractor or what? Yeah, I gotta get to that now. All right, let's get this picked up. Let's get this tractor greased. I have, I have a fun idea about greasing this tractor. Well, you know, I should probably blow up this portrait quick first. Hold on. Well, before I get to grease, I'm gonna go ahead and Get the hose picked up, water turned off. That way that's all done. 
And then, and then we're gonna have some fun greasing this tractor. It's gonna be fun. Watch. Packed up, put up. So I'm gonna move Hulk Smash right out here in the middle of the yard. Let me pick up the sticks. And I still can't get over the hog rooting right here. Boy, I tell you, if, if they would've got over here and did what they did, um, over there by the creek where you just seen, boy, <laughs> I'd have been doing some tractor work here in the yard. But yeah, that's just a little bit right there. So I'm gonna move Hulk Smash real quick. And then we gotta get greased up. It's gonna be fun, I'm telling you. Just get ready. We'll get, get, get ready. First, I got my grease gun. We're just gonna, just gonna take a ride out there. Oh, I better get these glasses. Put them back. This is actually for wiping the grease if I get any. All right, Hulk Smash is looking good. I gotta do some work on the seat, but the soap really wasn't this what I was anticipating. It actually didn't work like I wanted it to, but for the most part, Hulk's looking a lot better. Whoa, fell back in my truck. Some of you are probably already laughing, probably got an idea. Maybe you don't, but it's gonna be funny. <laughs> are you ready? Are you ready? I know you're ready, you're getting ready. So what I gotta do is I gotta tighten my hat up. Ow. I think I'm in a shock, because I did a zoom in on this. I zoomed in so it wouldn't be so far away. But, time to grease. I'm gonna take a quick count, see how many grease dimples there are on this side, and then I'm gonna get to it. Are you ready? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What I see there. Okay, I remember this one back here. Just about every pivot point. Nine, ten. Actually, just one side. So I've currently found ten. I'm sure there's probably going to be some more, but um, I'm going to go ahead and get these tens and look. See what I'm talking about? <clears throat> The more I take you guys' advice, the better I get. All right? All right. All right. Ten. Grease fittings. Ready, set, go. <laughs> you ready? Now we gotta do the other side. <laughs> 